Welcome to the Trendy Outdoorsman. In this studio series video, we're gonna talk about how to mount a super ultra wide monitor. Stay tuned. First, we'll start with the 49 inch super ultra wide monitor. It's a 5K monitor. This thing is game changer for productivity. I decided to mount it to the table instead of using the mount that it came with for the table. So I got this Loctec um, arm. Uh, from what I understand, there are no mounts designed for these 49 inch super ultra wides yet. This is made for a 34 inch or 32 pounds. Um, based on this situation, this monitor is only 27 pounds, so I thought it should be fine um, in terms of the weight and supporting it. It has a 100 by 100 VESA mount uh, system, so it should match up perfectly, so I thought I'd give it a try. It looked like it was going to work, so I mounted it to the table, and then I had my wife uh, put the screws in as I held the monitor up. Uh, so far, we had no problems. And then afterwards, I just tested it by uh, doing the sensitivity of the gas shock and it seemed to be perfect. So moving on, I did the same monitor mount for the iMac, except I had to get a Vivo uh, adapter. They're like 15 bucks. This will allow the iMac to have a mount on the back of it to attach a, a mount to it. Um, it's pretty much the only way to mount these things and that ended up working out pretty well, I think. So then what I did is I just attached the iMac mount to the side of the table with the other one for the big screen in front of the table. So it's kind of a, a great system here and very minimalistic looking as well at the same time. Next, I ran all the wires through the back and into, this is the iMac in this case. And what I did is I used electrical tape to uh, essentially hide all the wires with white electric tape so it's a little more clean. And then the mount comes with these black adapters, um, these covers that you can just put on underneath and put all the wires into the mount itself. So they're out of the way and yet it still turns. It's a very clean and minimalistic look. It's awesome. The reason why I really like this is it's a gas shock, so it easily, you can see here, it can easily go up and down with just a little bit of, a little bit of a touch. And the nice thing is you can turn it, you can twist it, you can do just about everything with it very, very easily once it's installed. You can see the other perk that I really like about it. It has uh, a couple of jacks on the front, which I'm not going to use, but I am going to use the USB. I did run the USB from this guy under the desk and all the way around to this guy right here. So you can see the USB plugs into there. There's also a couple other USBs. It's really hard for me to get in here to show you. But there's three USBs or three or four there that I can just charge my quick gadgets if I need to or iPhone or something like that. And that's from Ikea, so that taps into that guy. I use the same exact monitor arm for the iMac, the 5K iMac, the 27. As you can see here, this is the same exact system with the USB, and I ran this USB differently. I ran this USB up and around to the back of the iMac, so essentially if I want to, for example, hook into my four terabyte hard drive there, I just plug this guy in, and this is for my time machine, so I can then back up everything on my computer if and when I want to do it right there was very convenient. The other hard drive I have here also runs through this as well and it runs into the back of the monitor. That's a 14 terabyte. That's for all my footage that I'm filming and I had to get this adaptive. That's a Vivo adapter essentially because you cannot remove these very easily for the iMacs. So this adapter from Amazon which I think is like 15 or 20 bucks makes it so you can put a monitor basically right onto the mount, which then mounts to the iMac mount. A lot of people don't like it because you can't remove it, but I actually kind of like it because I added this little feature right here. And that, of course, I can then put in my micro SD as well as my standard SD and three other USBs, all very easily accessible on the front of my computer instead of having to reach around to the back of the computer every time. So it's very convenient. I am running, I'm running the ultra wide with the iMac with a mini display port to HDMI 
And then I'm also running, and that only runs that at 1080. And if I wanted to run that monitor at the, the 5K that they say it's rated, I believe it's 5140 by 1440, somewhere around there. I can do that with my MacBook Pro via USB-C to USB-C, and that will also charge my MacBook Pro because it delivers the 85 watts necessary. So essentially, this is the setup here. This has the, well, this has the 5K iMac 27 with the same monitor arm on that guy as that guy there. That's the 49 LG Ultra Wide. I hope you guys enjoyed that video of mounting the monitor. I do have all the other videos part of the series linked below as well as all the products used in this video linked below as well. If you guys have any questions about anything used or any questions about what I did, please leave the comments below. Otherwise, like and subscribe to this channel. There are more videos to come. Thanks.